Dennis is up himself. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Up, you know, up somebody, which is basically, you know... And that's what I say, up you. <laughs> <laughs>
You know, he's got three ankle biters. Um, she'll be apples, she'll be right. Just another term, like Aussies do say, you know, she'll be right. She, uh, they actually say she'll be right. Arvo, which is like just afternoon. So we'll do that in the Arvo. Later, later on, there's Arvo. Aussie, Australian. Um, you got Avo, so avocado. So, you know, go to the store and buy an Avo. Smashed Avo. Back at Burke, never heard that. Bail. Bail is one, it's like, you know, they bailed. Have you seen them? They've bailed. To bail somebody up. It's like, oh, Dennis is bailing Darren up. You know, it's like, so you've done this, yeah. this. You know, so it's that's bailing up. But then if Dennis leaves, I mean, where is he? He's bailed. Does that confuse anyone here, right? It confuses me. So, done a runner is another one. So, you know, they've done a runner, they've bailed. Bail out is like, you know, you're going to bail You're going to bail him out. So, let's say he's being bailed out by Darren. Someone may say, you're going to go bail him out, which is like help. A bailout. I mean, we, we hear that like financial bailouts around the world, but it's really just like, go and help them, get him out. Um, banana bender, a person from Queensland. Because bananas come from Queensland. And then they had people in Queensland. So, when the bananas come off straight off the tree, that they come straight. And there are people there that actually. Australia is the first country in the world that developed the straight banana. <laughs> okay, but the reason why they did it is for the packaging. <coughs> because naturally when the banana's on the tree, Michael was pulling your leg. Which Another expression, pulling your leg. Joke yeah. with you. Because the bananas, when they're hanging, they naturally bend because of the weight of them, right? Yeah. Okay, so no one's actually physically doing mm -hmm. this. But <laughs> what, what happens when you put bananas in boxes, they bruise because of the travel. Because remember the map of Australia? Bananas are travelling from here and they go all over Australia. Mm -hmm. So they, the skin gets black. So they develop the straight banana. So the bend is only on the curve now. So when it sits in the box, the bottom of the banana is flat on the box. Mm -hmm. So that's how they do it. So we do have a straight banana. Um, Barbie, barbecue, right? So a lot of us have, you know, a Barbie it's in the backyard. Ken not Ken and Barbie. Um, Barrack, which is like support. In America, they say rooting. So I root for this team. You know, I root for the for the Dodgers. I root for this. But in Australia, it's Barrack support. Um, bastard. Could like term of endearment. It's like you know, he's a bastard. A bastard really is like the child of an unwedded parent yeah. out of wedlock. But don't say this on the phone, right? Don't go, <laughs> oh, you bastard. <laughs> you know, you bastard. Um, we got bathers, togs, speedos, um, which are like swimming clothes. Um, battler, so the great Aussie battler, someone that slogs through life. You know, they go in hard, they do the hard yakker and they, you know, make ends meet, which is another another term. Um, beaut, beauty, which is, yeah, it's like fantastic, that's a beauty. You know, you could say like he or she's a beauty, which means like you're thinking like they're beautiful or, you know, that's a beauty, that means it's great. Um, Bicky, uh, it was like biscuit. But our biscuits are like, the Tim Tams are a biscuit. A Clicks Cracker is a biscuit. Um, you know, like we kind of call a biscuit is, yeah. You guys, it's cookies, right? Everything's like it's a cookie. And then in the UK, a biscuit is bread, like a bit of bread. So let's say, can I get a biscuit with my roast? We would think, really, you're on Tim Tam with your roast? <laughs> Um, big smoke is like is city. Like big smoke is like I guess the same in a lot of countries too. Um, a a bicky, a biscuit. Billabong. Billabong is um, a surfing brand, but it's but it's also like a, a pool of water. Um, Billy, you know, like a teapot if you're out doing camping. Bingle is if you get into an accident. So what happened to your car? Had a bingle. Had a crash. Um, Bites like mozzies. So mosquitoes are mozzies. You probably say the same thing here anyway. Do you? No. Really, mozzies? All right. So I'm going to speed through these. So we've got bloke, which is like a guy. Bloody, bloody oath. So we would use, um, you know, bloody hell, bloody oath, which is, it's not, a, it's not a negative. Again, we don't say these things on the phone. People may say things to us on the phone. Like, you know, oh, bloody oath, what are you doing? Oh, bloody hell. Bloody you know, hell, mate. Why are you asking me that? Bloody, bloody hell, bloody this. It's not an aggressive, oh, it is mildly aggressive. It's an expression. Oh, bloody hell, why are you asking me for this now? You could have asked me this like last week. It could also be you've said something like, wow, I did this on the weekend. Bloody hell, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, you got like bludger. I'll skip through some that I don't think are relevant. Uh, like bludger, which is someone who like just lazes around and does nothing. So a dole bludger, someone that collects government entitlements and just does nothing. We call them a dole bludger. So if you hear that word, you don't give them a property. Yep. Yeah, if it's on their um, employment, yeah, yeah, doll bludger. The, 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 well, even the, the agent might say they're a doll bludger, yep. meaning they, they're just getting government incentives. Blue is like having a fight with someone. So I'm having a blue with him. It means we're having an argument, a disagreement. Yep. Or to make a blue is like make a mistake. Oh, I made a blue. Crazy, like where do they come from? And, to, and a red, and a, we also call redheads bluey. So they got red hair, it's like they're bluey. Yeah, bodgy, bodgy and dodgy is... Similar. Like it's uh, something crap. Like you might get a glass and it doesn't like attach at the, the stem. You call it, that's a dodgy glass. Bogged, so someone's bogged down. They could be bogged down in work. The car could be bogged in mud. Boomer, my big kangaroo. Booze bus. A booze bus, like we have booze buses around all the streets. They kind of randomly pull you over and breath test you for um, alcohol and drugs. Um, bottle shop, bottle o is like a, a liquor shop for us. 
So if someone's going to buy a bottle of wine or something, you go to a bottle shop or a, um, or a drive through Burke Street, bowl of rice, not my, not my cup of tea. That's, that's more Cockney slang. Um, brick shit house. So if someone said they're built like a brick shit house, means that they're, they're big, you know, they're, they're tough, they're strong. Very, very common terms too. Briz Vegas, capital of Brisbane, Brizzy. Well, Bricky's a good one because that's actually, I'm a Bricky, that's actually a job. Yeah, they, they could be on a job description yeah, too. They're, they're a bricklayer building houses. Yeah, it's, it's different. So Earthworks is... More constructed, the big yeah, construction yeah, yeah. stuff. Yeah, Yeah, but then like tradie. So if someone's a tradesperson, they'll say I'm a tradie, right? That's the term that they'll generally yeah. use. They could be an electrician, they could be a plumber, they could yeah. be a, you know... Um, budgie smugglers is another term for the Speedo costume. Um, a bull bar. So depending on whereabouts you live in Australia, you'd have a bull bar in the car because when you're driving along the road, it might hit kangaroos and things like that. So you need you need a bull bar. The bull bar will like cut him in two, basically. Bundy, so dealing with Queensland, Bund where Bundaberg Run comes from, um, and also living in Bundy. People would say, I don't live in Bundaberg. That's how I live in Bundy. Bush telly, campfire, so true. Um, bush ranger is an outlaw. Butcher, so I would butcher like everywhere, you go and buy your meat. BYO, um, bring your own. We don't need to talk about uh, cane toad. Cane toad is a pest. It was introduced by the British to eradicate some insects and it ended up eating all of the um, sugar cane. So, and they just can't kill them. And they still are a pest now, if they can't control them properly. Chocker block, full, you know, that's chockers. I ate too much breakfast on chocker block. Yeah, or like a, a venue, like it's just full of people. Chock a block, you're not going to get in. Um, and again, these these are actual words that Australians are using day in, day out. It might be more formal on an email, but verbally, chuck a sicky. Then he's chucked a sicky, which means he's taken a day off sick. Chunda, vomit, so true. He's had a chunda. He's had a chunda in the bush, or he's lost yeah. his he's lost his guts. Um, that, that's two ways. Yeah, click kilometer. So you know, thirty clicks that way. Um, I would normally say kilometer anyway. Um, Cobber. Friend, cocky. If someone's cocky, like they're arrogant, he's cocky. Um, Corroboree, an Aboriginal dance festival. Cream. Cream is like the definition of margin. So cream on top. How much cream on top is there? It's not. It's not how much cream you have on your coffee. It's yeah. You know, how much cream on top of the deal is there? Crow eater is someone from South Australia. Um, cut lunch sandwiches. Also, um, cutting lunch is a is a term in Australia used if someone's cutting in on someone's business or if, you know, someone's trying to meet someone for the first time. Dennis comes in and starts talking to them. So uh, he's he's cut their lunch. It's like a Bradbury. It's another way of saying it too. Stephen Bradbury, anyone familiar with Stephen Bradbury? Stephen Bradbury was Australia's ice skating person and um, on the world scale, he wasn't, order, he wasn't like fantastic. He was good to be where he was. He got to the world finals or the that Olympic top finals. Top 20. Well. I mean, he was, he was good to be where he was, but um, he wasn't as great as like the other guys are that live in the snow. And it was the Olympic finals and he made it to the finals just. And as they were going around the arena, he was lagging behind because he knew he wasn't going to get through. And what happened was the guys were in front, someone tripped underneath and everyone in front of him fell over. And he was just wow. doing, he was doing the same speed and he won gold. And so <laughs> the other definition is, it's under Bradbury, someone has come from behind and just like with no, with no, with no effort, just kind of come through. So they've done a Bradbury. And the thing is, he, um, he, he was still giving it his all, you know, mm -hmm. and if he did just slow down and do nothing, they actually uh, the guys did get up again and they would have won. Yeah, I mean, he was in the finals. I mean, like, he was trying, but like compared to where these other guys were, Dag, funny person, so he's a Dag, funny person. Also, Dag is a sheep in New Zealand. So if you were to say in Australia, oh, they're a Dag, it's like, you know, they're kind of funny, they're, they're odd. But in New Zealand, say, oh, they're a Dag, it's like, they're a sheep. Um, Devo, devastated. People say, how are you feeling? Devo, Devo, mate, I feel like shit. That means devastated, don't feel that great. People say it. Um, Digger is a soldier, Dob. When you're dobbing on someone, you know, tattletale. A docket is a, is a receipt. You know, can I grab the docket? Do you want your docket? Dog's eye, meat five. There's a lot, a lot of Cockney slang in there. So, drop kick is like, um, like a dipstick, an idiot. Esky, so fair dinkum. People say facey is like an Australian expression for Facebook. I've never ever heard anyone in Australia call it facey before. So, um, fair, fair dinkum, fair go. Um, feral. Feral is used for a number of people from like bogans, people that have just gone crazy. Um, that person's gone feral. You know, they've gone wild, but it is used day in, day out. So, like, if we ask people for, like, um, ID, we may say, like, vehicle ID or vehicle registration. You know, can we get a copy of your rego, right? I'm not telling everyone here that we have to kind of accommodate to, like, the Aussie slang and everything, but, like, knowing what it is, because some people may write on their email. They might just say, I'll email you the rego papers tonight when I get home. A ripper means like, great, fantastic. Um, you little ripper, you little ripper, you little beauty, you beauty. Means like, you know, ex exciting. Um, Roo is a kangaroo. Schooner. Schooner is, is a beer. Scratchy. A scratchy is like a, um, a scratchy ticket. You know, you buy a, like a lotto ticket with a scratchy. Scratch and win. Here you go. This is one for New Zealand. Sheep shagger. 
So the Australians call New Zealanders sheep shaggers. Why are they shag sheep? Yes. Uh, well. <laughs> they, root, they root sheep, if we're going to use the, the, the wordings that we've got here. Yeah, that's pretty well what it means. Um, Sheila. Sheila is another term for like a woman. It's not really politically correct, um, but in like areas like Queensland and like country areas, you know, Sheila. Shithouse. Shithouse is, that shithouse. That's crap. That's not it's great. No it's no good. It's just shithouse. Um, again, like, not for us to say it, but like it's words that you would hear daily. We would hear it daily in conversations. It's interesting because Michael and I, we were trying to work out the words to do. And because we use the words all the time, it's not slang to us. So um, that's why I Googled it and I was looking and I found all these websites and then like we're like, oh my goodness, like <laughs> we say this all the time, like, you know, so. Um, shoot through is another thing that you'll probably hear like we're doing references, you know, how were they? Oh, they shot through, um, which means they've, they've disappeared, they've gone AWOL. Um, shout, a shout is normally used to, you know, it's your shout. So who's buying drinks? It's your shout. You know, it's your shout for dinner, it's your shout. Um, not necessarily shout meaning, yeah. It's shout um show pony someone who thinks they're pretty good and like that you know someone driving around with a lamborghini thinking they're really great in that and you know they probably are great they probably work really hard to get there and then people are saying they're up themselves and they're being a show pony because australians like to um cut people off from the top it's called tall poppy syndrome in australia you know you got a, a sea of poppies and then one gets bigger than the other and australians like to cut them down yeah it's i mean we like to stay grounded you know, keep ourselves grounded. It's a we terrible know, thing know. that our country has by cutting people down that want to succeed and yeah, grow. we should it's be happy for people that have been successful, but, um, yeah, yeah, you know, a lot of the Aussies, if, you know, they start, yeah. I mean, I think a lot of countries, it does happen, but it does happen a lot in Australia, unfortunately. New Zealand is, is similar. You know, they don't like people big noting themselves. Yeah. yeah. I'm spewing, angry. Oh, spewing. Missed out on that property. Spewing. Oh, the tenant could be a soup if you don't give them the house. Yep, sulking, someone that's upset. Spit the dummy. So if you get upset, oh, they spat the dummy. You know, um, spruker, which is also a um, employment definition to a spruker. Spruker is someone like stands on the street saying, yeah, come in and try this. You got to come in, three dollars off, blah, blah, blah. And sprung is when you catch someone doing something. Ha, sprung it. Spunk, um, standover man, someone that's going to come over and say, you know, pay your rent. Struth is also used sometimes. Struth is Struth. like, you know, struth. Flaming hell. Bloody hell. Struth. Um, stubby holder is like what we use to put our beer in so it stays cold. Um, stuffed. I'm stuffed. I'm tired. Doesn't mean I'm. But well, it's also I'm full. I've eaten so much. I'm stuffed or I'm tired. Um, so if you say how are you going, I'm stuffed. So are you tired or are you full? You know. But people either go stuffed. You know, if they're full. Um, tall poppies. Successful people. Tall poppy syndrome. The tendency to criticise people. Um, thongs. Flip flops. Tickets on oneself. So as you said they got tickets on themselves. We said it before. Like Dennis has tickets on himself. Um, gone tropo or tradey again. Um, tracky dax is tracksuit pants. So in winter, people are going to wear their trackies around. Tracky dacks. Um, trucky. So if someone's a truck driver, they might put trucky in their in their um in their job description. Tucker is food. Again, it's used like in more country areas, Queensland areas. Um, and then we get back up to where we went through before, I think. So uni, university, flat, apartment. So there are a lot of the slang words, and we'll make this list available to everyone too. So you can kind of, if if you hear something like a word, you can probably refer back to it. Other um, ways where we abbreviate a lot are names. So someone like Dennis was saying, someone could be called. Jonathan or John, but we call them Jono or Johnny or, you know, Michael might be Mike, Mickey. Um. Anthony, Tony, that's a common one. You get Elizabeth, Libby, L. Rebecca, Beck, Becky, Rosalia. I never call my daughter Rose, Rosalie. They're like, Cat always says, yeah, Rose. You can call her Rose, you can call her Rosa. I'm like, no, no, her name's Rosalia. Words. We just like to shorten the words, especially with... Because um, we speak so fast, yeah. we need to get as many words in per minute. Yep, speed it up. Robert, Rob, or Bob as well. All I could say is that if I was doing a um, condition report, Andrea, good luck transcribing me. I, I'd, I would get, I'd get so many words into the one hour, it'll still take you 10 hours. Um, Andrea has to listen to like a lot of, she, she was doing a lot of transcribing and so like she would hear a lot of words, like the mundane transcribing, listening to audio and, and going through it and um, one particular client would try and get as many, we, we said to them it'd be on time based and so they would try and get as many of their words into the hour as possible when they realised if they shorten their audio they were going to pay less. So it made our life a little, or made Andrea's life a little bit uh, more difficult because she's like, Michael, they're doing two hours in Inside one hour, how am I meant to listen to this? They're saying these words. Um, perfect. So I guess the reason like why we were kind of covering news, we we're covering like, you know, as where Australia is, what Australia has in there, some of these words too, because we're basically all we're basically on the phone. 
not for you to kind of, um, we don't want you to sound Australian. Like, I don't want you to get on the phone. There are other companies and they say, you gotta say g'day, you gotta say how's it going, you know, and, and put that round on it. I don't want you doing that. But if it means that, you know, an accent that comes, comes to us is a little bit too American or, you know, where the words are American and like the spelling is American, don't be writing emails with American spelling. It's all got to be Australian spelling. And like we had this issue, and I'm going to refer back and pick on Andrea too, which we're not picking on her, but like when we were type doing reports, <laughs> like with Word, no, but like when we were doing reports with Word, the um, spell check was like US at the start. And so like we were doing words and like, you know, apologize, for example, in America has a Z, in Australia it's got an S. <laughs> <laughs>